What's up? Uh, where's my lights? Where's my lights? Oh, there we go. Th that does not look right. Um, there we go. That's a little bit better. What is up, everybody? My name is CTBTR, or known as Charles, and welcome back to another update. It has been a while since from the January update I made, but there's a lot of things to talk about that is happening at the stake right now and what has happened within these months that I've been through after January. But first, I want to let you guys know from the last update, if you guys haven't watched that, and or even the truth, but we'll get to there. But I managed to have, I finally have, I mean to say, is a Twitch account where I'm going to be streaming, not mostly streaming on there, but, but it's pretty much a getaway from YouTube in order to kind of like figure things out how I would be able to do the content a little bit more, if that makes more sense. But in this aspect, uh, what I'm trying to do is get everything all situated. And that's why Twitch is a, a recommended nation for my own channel of Twitch to be as the the second alternative, a, even if I'm not on YouTube, if that makes more sense. And also, I did say this before within Instagram, maybe a little bit of threads, I'm not too sure, but mostly on U YouTube with one video that I took off, which is, used to be a update video. I'm not too sure it's still up. If it, it's not up there, it's not up there. I'm not too sure, but my future self would put it on the screen or he already did, I don't know. But I have a Discord, like a full on Discord server that is already out. You could check it within Instagram. It's already on there and find it and you can find it from there. However, what I'm trying to do is very self-explanatory is that soon it's gonna come out later on more as a full on official discord that will be placed in throughout the entirety of the brand new videos for now on so even though it's been popping up of my own username and stuff but now it's going to be popping in towards the description same thing with twitch it's going to be in also in this in this description as well as threads and even instagram again because it's been a while since i have done that but it's now, go it's now going to be all intertwined and make sure it's more sense. But now, let's get on with the first thing I just said. Now, after the January video on February, it was a lot of things going on. I have learned a lot of new things within my U.S. history class that I didn't even heard about. And that, it, that makes more sense, pretty much. And I have confirmation from that time uh that there's a there's um there's a video that i made or a stream that i made from twitch that was not no longer there you couldn't even see it anymore but i managed to clip a new, brand new video to be placed up and you get able to see that but what i'm trying to say is that again twitch is now getting its focus that's why i've been trying to like figure out like how i would able to use t twitch from one of my streaming uh, streaming uh, apps that I'm trying to use is Streamlabs or or even just uh, um, what what do I call it OBS. That's what I'm using for making this video because apparently this the camera within wasn't showing up here, but I'll explain that more like the app. So what ends up happening within that month. It was great. It made it a lot lot more enjoyable and made it a lot more easier for me to just to get onto. But I know you guys are gonna say, where the heck is Isla Camp? Uh, I've been trying to work within the, the month of February in order to get the episodes down. But within this month, March, as of right now, currently, almost at the end of March, um, I managed to get most of the episodes in as best as I can. 
for the second half of the series. And yet, I'm not going to reveal what the episodes are. But what I'm trying to do is trying to get all the most of the episodes in except for the finale. I'm not going to say anything about the finale. You have to find out and see. And it's going to be awesome. However, its release date is going to come in within the next two weeks. And the announcement is going to be between that week, or trailer is going to be between that week, and clearly there's an announcement. There is an announcement I'm going to do that is considered to be about what is really happening within my channel and what's really happening with all of this as a whole of social wise. But now let's get into the more bad news kind of way. So that's pro that part of you that you just heard was the good news. Now the bad news is there's a lot of things has happened. We got a, a lot of celebrities have passed away. Um, One of my friends Friends is a uh, family members has passed away, which is Joseph in this case. I'm mentioning him because Joseph is one of these guys that I hang out with time to time. After we made the videos of the cube crap, you may have recognized his voice some somehow. You may recognize him with those episodes, but he's not doing all right in this case right now. He is doing all right, but he's still not doing all right due to of. His mom's death, basically. She died of brain cancer and is not fun. Brain cancer is a, one of the top weaknesses of the top 10, pretty much. And I am afraid what's going to happen to my family. I'm not too sure. But there's another friend that is still having this... Um, Still having this trouble here with Luis. I did talk talk uh, talk about him within uh, January. I, I'm sorry with this the, with this, the starting and slur. I'm I'm sorry about that, but um, I'm just trying to kind of you know because there's something up in the front makes sense. So with Luis, he was uh, not doing great because of hit one of his family members lost the job. Maybe lost a job, I'm not too sure, but it's not feeling well in the same matter like what Joseph's mom was, but it got a lot worse for him. As of recently, I have heard from Jaime, if you guys remember who, who I'm talking about, make sure you subscribe to his channel. He is right now in the stage of homelessness. Homelessness? I can't even say that. He's in that stage where it's not... Uh, good basically and I can say I, what I can really say here It's not funny and I'm into that si in situation too. including my family including uh, The stuff that's happening including Rent too high. I'm not gonna say what state or what region I'm in but it's obvious for some people but I Just wanted to say in a regard I the reason why I support Luis and Joseph is because I don't want to be a type of guy who who is just making a fun of or just making jokes or anything like that. I just don't want that happening to them. And I'm not one of those people who does that. Just to be a very clarification here. And there's also somebody who has passed away and you guys can tell I'm wearing the, the Dragon Ball Z shirt. One of the greatest creators has passed away, which is Akira Toyama. He's the creator of Dragon Ball, and he's now up there with King Kai. And it's it's actually unfortunate to see him go. And he has passed away at the beginning of this month, and it was not great. And I'll tell you that. It's not very fun after February, you know. But may rest in peace. You're now up there with the legends, and that's all I can say here. All right. Now, reflecting on this, I had some troubles on understanding what was really going on, what was really is, you know, shaking my boundary, what, what's happening with Joseph, Luis, and the creator of Akira Toriyama, and others, in this case. I'm not going to mention all of them in this video, but 
It's just that I hope things can go up, can not be turned out worse than as it is right now. Because now with Dragon Ball getting the new show of uh, Diamond, I think that's the name of this new show. I don't know what's gonna happen because now we're in we're now getting to the dark age where he's no longer around, and I feel like that's my main concern. And aware that it's not gonna be fun after once we get the pass of one year after his death of Akira Toyama. So yeah. Anyway, with that out of the way, why within this part of this video? Why is trustworthy friendship and history work so well for Joseph and Luis? The reason why it works in this case is because I'm not a guy who wants to abandon them. I do not want to do that. I am a trustworthy guy when it comes to these some situations. Sometimes I can't be on edge. Jaime keeps on saying that I'm always on edge. Sometimes I can be, but... But with him as well, I always stuck up with Jaime. I always trust him too. But yeah, that's usually who I am with with this and friendship as well, including history that we have made, basically. Now, a good example of this is another show that is heavily inspired, and no jokes, Yu-Gi-Oh! JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, I'm not too sure about that show. Uh, My Hero Academia, Demon Slayer. All those shows that you have watched was heavily inspired of Akira Toyama's work. And one of them I'm going to be talking about is Hunter x Hunter. Yes, I said this, I said this correctly this time. It's not Hunter x Hunter. It's Hunter x Hunter. The X is silent. So hopefully everybody understands if you're a Hunter x Hunter fan or even not even a Hunter x Hunter fan. That's how you pronounce the name of the show. So within the show, there's two characters, two cra two greatest characters that hold up the entire show up until the end of the show is Gon and Kyowa. Why talking in, why why am I talking about him, about them in this video? Well, Gon is a type of character that I can relate to because he's the type of guy who could Somewhat understand, but not uh, so not really understand all the time. And I can see the pain with him, within who threw him throughout the show. And yeah, and by the way, spoiler alert if you haven't seen the show. But with Kyowa, he's the type of guy who his re relaxation type guy, and he doesn't want to get his uh, cool to be all uh, interrupted. And sometimes he ends up doing that, and sometimes he can't be a dick. To some other characters, which is funny, but um, but these two in the, in this in this particular matter, these guys have made a great history together. They have made trustworthy on each other and made a good friendship together, and that's the best part of why these two characters are a great example from Hunter Hunter that I want to talk about. Now let's let's talk about. Speaking about that, let's talk about the bad examples. And yes, this is basically this part of this video. It's going to be a rant video, the rest of it. But I really want this this to be addressed too. So please, if you're underage, please do not watch the rest of this video. I mean it. You could skip it all the way to the end of the video if possible. But please. So... When it comes to a bad example of those three words, trustworthy, friendship, and history, I want to give my thoughts about people who really doesn't understand me that are strangers to me, basically. As of recently, as I haven't looked into my Xbox in a while, I have seen these two guys, and yes, if anybody, and any of these two people who have seen me on Rogue Company, and yes, I do play Rogue Company, it's just not as much because of my PC situation. Yes, apparently I forgot to mention it at the uh, the beginning of the video. P my PC was having some issues, and I had to reset it, and everything's back to normal. So, mostly normal, to say the least. So, 
these two idiots out of nowhere between these times of January 21st, I think, and February 18th, they said this. They literally said this to me, which I want to say it, and I think I remember one of them. Find a game that to suck at. I do not like that because it, I just want to say something about this. You realize that I'm not dumb, all right? And I could see what you guys are ended up talking about. And this is why, if you guys don't know, and it's going to pop up within in a future one of these uh, future videos of the game footage of World Company. I don't know what episode it will be, but you guys will have to find out based on the announcement of what series is going to be for a brand new gaming series. Okay, I'll just say that. Um, I want to say this in the regard. I do not like to voice chat with people that's within games. And the reason why I turned it off is because I don't want to focus and hear. Well, I want to focus, but I do not want to hear these people talking at the same time. I just really want to focus on the gameplay. I just really want to focus on what I have to focus on. So these two people, if you end up watching this video somehow, please show some respect. I'm just trying to play an actual game that I really want to play. And I just want to get some respect, please. If you're not trying to give us some respect, there's a reason why you got blocked. So, that's why. That's a bad example whenever, whenever you start making a friend or basically trying to talk to somebody. That's a, the, uh, one of the bad examples. There's a second example, which has t these top five people that I really despite so, so much to the point that I really don't want to talk to them anymore after what they did. So, um, I'm glad all these top five are basically, are not part of the IRL part, which we'll get to that in another video, in another time, once I'm fully out of school, if that makes more sense. So, um, the first one I want to talk about is Splash. If you guys don't know who he is, he's a friend of... Well, former friend, I'm not too sure. Towards Caleb. If you guys don't know who Caleb is, he's the guy who I hanged out with in his first server and second server. And I will put his uh I will put his channel in the link in the description. And I did shout out him shout out to him before. So I'm gonna shout out to him again. Again, I wanna shout out to Jaime for you know still supporting me up to this day and even supporting to the Luis. And also Joseph, if possible. Always possible in a lot of occasions. But, now going back to this. Splash is the type of guy you do not want to talk to. And when it comes to this. When it comes to this, there's some proof I have. Want to make. That, uh, that I want to make sure that everybody understands. He does trolls. And he raid using the trolls accounts. That was within the first server of Caleb's first server Discord server ever, and what ends up happening was that I got accused. Caleb was on his side for a little bit. One of the moderators, one of one of the acquaintances or friends, if we want to put it this way, Matt. Hope you, if this Matt ends up still here somehow, you're a legend. But this Matt knows who exactly it was in the very first thing. And why is that? One, he does those trolls. Two, it's very obvious for him to know. But me and Caleb and the others did not know. And now we do know because Caleb knows. Well, I know it. I know exactly who it was. And now Caleb knows after within at the end of 2020. And this is when the pandemic was hit, and it was not good. So, um, due to the beginnings of 2021, he started to realize, like, oh, that's what happened. Splash is the one who is causing this, and that's why I do not want to trust him because he has a good, he has a very good, but in a sort of way, a bad representation to the server as a whole, and not only that. He's a bad influence, basically. 
that's what I'm trying to say within this video as possible with the other people uh, that's be going to be talking to within this video that's from the online perspective that I had that was a bad influence to be okay um the next one is rock clay let's get him out of him let's get him out of here asap with rock clay with him he is another type of guy who has a bad influence as well and he used to f he used to be friends with somebody on roblox who is a friend to caleb as well and i don't want to say their names in the, in this video and this guy oh he he friended rock clay and unfriended him afterwards and rock clay is so concerned and also pissed off why he was unfriended well because this guy doesn't want to be friends full-on time friends and he wants that he wanted uh, as an acquaintance if anybody knows what word I'm talking about I said it a couple of times so with that it gives me the thought of like wait there's something going down and now I understand it and there was this like big backfire between a lot of things and this is right before splash got got um, got uh, exposed pretty much so with Rockley, he he despised he was being well he's pretty much despised him Caleb and the others and now to me after what I just said basically he should have not learn his lesson from that and he should have moved on from it all right and he's another one who is a bad influence now we're getting to these two motherfuckers who is these two goons here um the first one we're gonna just knock it out of the park is rio if you guys don't know who he, who his actual username is that's his username that's popping up on the screen of the left or the right it doesn't matter what he has done was so much of a bad influence, I had to get, get rid of him completely. And I'll tell you why. I thought he's going to be a good friend in the very beginning. And yet, he's a friend to Storm. If you guys don't know who Storm is, he's used to part, he used to be a part of the pivot community of World of Arts. And I like World of Arts because he had made the pivot animation videos along his crew members making these Ben 10 projects that I have seen, including more expansion of his own projects as well. And it's very interesting. It's very, very interesting. And when he came along, it's very obvious. But with Storm, I st here's the thing. I still respect him. But with him, in this case, friends with Rio is a very much a, a good influence to the each other. But I still despise Rio. And there's reasons why. Throughout the entire time, throughout 2020 to 2021 until June 10th, he completely was he was uh, annoyed and despite uh, and he's being spiteful, pretty much despite on me and everybody else. Why? It is because he was just was this little devil who was just watching over the cameras like. Yes, my assistant, please, please get this all situated until we made our attack. And that's what he was trying to do. And it's not bad. It's it's bad, basically. It's bad. And um, with him, in this, case, in this occasion, what he has done was bad. And not only that, in order the way to get rid of him is by... Um, is by taking him into a secret server with Ian. If you guys don't know who he is, Kyoto. And again, shout out to him because he is almost at 10,000, not going to lie, 10,000 subscribers right now. And please, subscribe to him as well and get him up there to 10,000 uh, subscribers. And he's almost there, okay? Now, going back to this, the best way we could do but the best way I can do is get him to the server that me and Ian used to have and what we used to do, which is role-playing, but we have given up on role-playing a long time ago during that time. So, during that time until now, basically. So, 
what ends up happening, I ended up making sure he gets joined into the re into the R play server, the role playing server, the PR server, no RP server, put it this way. And and the first thought he's like, wait, what's going on here? And then all of a sudden he starts to realize what we are doing is to make him cringe. So with that, what he did, he raided that server. He also raided Caleb's server and my second server of the Discord server. And I forgot to mention, I used to have an older Discord server that was no longer in, no longer in, in, in no longer in existence. And I really hate that server because it was not run properly. Second, the second server as well, just not as much, but now it's more proper with this upcoming server. Well, more, pretty much more prepared of the of the server that I still have that will be coming up later in this year, if possible. But with that being said, what ends up happening is like I acted stupid right here. It's like, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this to to to? Why are you raiding up the servers and stuff? And what he did. Which I'm going to show it on the screen right now. That's what he just said to me. And I was like, what the actual heck did he just said that to me? So it ends up happening. He actually, he actually finally blocked me for good. But what's made, what, what he doesn't realize, if he ends up watching this video, I was the one who tries to get, you, get, get rid of you. And why is that? Because you completely despise and backstab me, Caleb, and the others. So shame on you. And shame on to your own assistant, Bat. He is the next one I'm going to talk about. And let, and boy, oh boy, I want to say this to the pure of our heart. His, His voice, voice is cringe. cringe. And no jokes. I wish I had a recordings of it. Of, of his voice but it's like annoying it feels like a cringe teenager kid and I really despite of that I despite it pretty much so much to the point but there's a some person that I really want to get into later on within this year if possible and what really despises me is that he is what his voice is worse than bats but we'll get to him later on in this year if possible but with with that he was the one who's keep keeps on complaining with the stuff that's happening within my own older server that's happening within with with the things that's happening with the second server i have but he's not he's not into that server by the way but it leads up to the point that he was part of the raid and he was the assistant of the, the entire time. And by the way, Bat, screw you if you end up watching this video. Because you completely despite me and everybody else as well. And you were with Rio the entire time. So shame on you. Screw you. And that's it. And that's the last time you will ever hear me saying this. And by the way, I want to say this in the regard for you guys to know. He also has a Twitter account that he has and I want to let you know right now please do not follow him after this okay and he's a bad influence a very very bad influence towards me and the others and he's not the worst of all out of the online perspective the worst one out of all the people I want to mention in this video is bruising flame 71 AKA Mr. Unknown, and his real name is Jamie. So, before we get to that, I want to kind of separate the two names of Jaime and, ha and Jamie. Jaime is the Spanish word or Spanish uh, name for James, and Jamie is a American name. And as you can tell, the M and the I are so similar, but the way how you spell it is right in a lot of both aspects so i want to let you guys know that i don't want to be having you guys confused with jaime and jane and jamie so let's call him bruising flame 71 for now 
but that's how you know that's how I able to tell based on the names you know and that's why you have to be careful what name they are you know so now let's go back to bruising flame 71 with him was so bad I just don't want to look back and get into that pass of that and this is the right at the time before that was kind of rid of splash got rid of um and Rio got rid of pretty much and with him is a lot worse than out of all four of them that was mentioned in the video combined and what he has done was so bad so the first thing is he acts like a child second of all he acts like a allergic child to be more exact and there's reasons why and it's so bizarre to the point that it really makes sense and not only that, he's also a pedo. A full-on pedo. And why is that? I used to be 13 during the time of 2020. And I could see why it's such a bad influence. And we didn't know exactly what's going on until this person, shout out to them, Mega Wolf came in. Mega Wolf has mentioned to me and the others that he's a very bad influence. Full on bad influence to the point that he, we do realize he was a pedo. So at first I did not know what a pedo is, which is unfortunate, but now I do since it's been five years, well, almost five years. So it really makes sense. So what ends up happening is that we finally got rid of him. And when I talked to, and when I talked to him, I don't want to show the screenshot or anything like that. But he just acts like a kid out of pure heart, out of no pure heart, and it really makes sense. So, screw you, Jamie, aka Rusing Flame 71, formerly known as Mr. Unknown. You are the one who got yourself a lot in trouble, and you should be in jail for it. I'm sorry, but you should be in jail for it. But by the way, I was. At first, I did not like Mega Wolf because I thought he's going to be a, also a bad influence too, but he's not anymore after this, and thank God he's not. But other than that, um, that is pretty much it from this point of this category. Now let's get on to this important one, and it needs to be talked about. The rest of my truth that is behind of me. And I don't know why there's a bad thing. Hold on a second, guys. Die, cockroach! There we go. It's dead. <laughs> Anyways. So. Let's get on with this. Shall we? So, the first thing I wanted to mention is that when it comes to... When it comes to this, I didn't mention all the stuff that's within the video of the truth. And now, if you haven't seen the truth and the, and the Jerry Month update, please make sure you watch it before before this part of the video. But it's finally time. The first thing I want to talk about is a person within my family got um, uh, got scammed, and their money was all gone. And we'll call her Jenny for now. Jenny. At first, she met this person who was actually a scammer, but just pretending to be someone else. And it made me irritated. And all of us, including me, well, all of my family, including me, has to stop her before her money or anything gets all hacked in a lot of ways. And she said, nope, nope, you guys are, you guys are wrong. He's actually real. And we told her, no, he is not real. And what ends up happening? She lost all of her money. And it's sad. And I really do not want to forgive forget I don't want to forgive her from a from a, at this point. And it makes me feel mad about that too. And I really hate it. I really hate this all the time when it comes to this. Whenever I never when I always never talk about this, but now I really do because you can see that I really hate 
oh, I hate when this happens. You know? You kind of get that anger inside of you. Now, when it comes to this, another truth about me is when, when it comes to me reacting to full-on real-life corpse. Now, this is actually a, a surprise to some people, but when it comes to games like Minecraft and the others, including horror games in this case, a lot more, um, with me, TV shows and movies, and well, TV shows and movies specifically are a little bit, a little bit more on the scare, or a little bit more like terrified kind of level. But when it comes to real life corpses, I have a different reaction. So with movies and TV shows, it doesn't really happen in real life, but it can in a lot of ways. But it it does really interfered. Well, not interfere, but like. When it comes to real life corpses or someone's death, it makes me a full on, uh, makes me a full on terrified, violent, kind of like shocking, fast paced movement of emotion, pretty much. And that's how I get that trait, and that's how I am, basically. And one of my friends sent me a corpse, and it was not good. It was not good to see that. So I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna mention who did that, but yeah. So, with that, that's another one about me. That's another truth about me. Another one is why I'm always getting the hate that nobody doesn't understand. And like I said from the early on from the video, I just don't understand why these people don't get what I do, basically. One, if you guys don't know, I recently got a new lightsaber. I put it on purple. If you guys don't know, Dang it. I always hit something, but I'm gonna do it again. If you guys can't tell, I can actually spin a lightsaber. And this one's a little bit better than the Disney sabers, by the way. That's that's one of the things I can do. Golfing is another one because my golf clubs are over there. Then it's cubing. That's another one I always do. And then gaming is another one. Making videos is another one. Uh, talking about what's happening, basically. Everything that, I, the, everything that I do is all original. And why is my characters from Stone of Browser also original and yet it still hasn't fully fulfilled to start in production? So it's still being held off because of Island Camp as a substitute, pretty, pretty much. But... With that, it makes it a lot more easier for me to just do something that's original. And if you guys don't know, and I said this within the first video, or the video that ends off 2023 of the truth, I did say this, that I used to copy and use ideas to be as the exact same idea. And Kevin Fine Animations, and hopefully is still out there, if you're still out there and watching this video, you're a legend, but... He's the one who brought me out as a reminder for all of you guys have seen the first one. But he's the one who actually brought me out from the copying and then fixing the timeline was Luis. Again, support him. He did all the work and that's why I trusted him because I changed him from the things that he has gone through. Okay, if that makes more sense. But again, it's like. I want to do something original. I don't want to copy things. I don't want to be something that really, really is triggering me the most. And the most vulnerable thing that is surprising to some people, but it's not as surprising, is crying. I have a very hard time reaction of crying when it comes to a lot of things. It could be angry. It could be full on sad. It could be depressed or anything. But then there's another one, which is arrogance or ignorant people. These in ignorant people don't understand what is really going on. So, and that's one of the number one things. I really hate when people don't understand what I do, don't understand what I talk about, but yet I have to be careful because now I have to slow things down. See? And again, it just feels like it feels like I really hate the way I am to be. 
if that makes more sense. So, so yeah, it was. It's not good. It's not good when people try to bag you down, basically bag you down, and being despited, being being despited on for on everybody that really knows you in some aspects, and I really hate that. That's why one of the friends that I used to have was despite on the video that I made and everybody should know what I'm talking about but he doesn't understand that I'm trying to make a difference here I'm trying to be a, as a good person here that's why I changed Luis and I, Luis is, is a much better friend than this friend I'm not going to talk about in this video but you get the point that's another example okay a tr truth person that really that you know that's trustworthy okay that's what it is here you know and again it's like why just why you don't understand this that's why you don't understand what's really going on in the world and a lot of things and again that's why history out of the three words history is very important for you guys okay and it's important to all of us as of right now What's going to happen later and what has happened in the past all makes sense. Well, except for some things that are miscellaneous out in, out in the world. But everything else should be remain as it should be because that's how it is. That's how we got a lot of things down in a lot of aspects. And... It really makes sense to, for me just just let you guys know history does matter and that's why I did not and, and remember this is why I do not like people who doesn't understand a lot of things doesn't like the fact that they are the ones who are smarter no they are completely wrong that's why I'm putting it in, in this video especially right here history does matter and I think that's it. I don't want to end it off a, a, a bad note. So again, at the beginning of the video, and if you made it, if you made it this far, again, there's an announcement that's going to be happening within this next week. There's going to be a trailer for Volume Two of Island Camp, and I'll try my promise. Uh, here's the thing: I can't promise there's going to be a, a trailer for Island Camp, but it will be. I will be. I'll be not pr promising on that. I meant to say. However, everything else should be fine. Everything else should be remain the same. But, but there's more changes that will be made within the announcement that's going to happen. So hopefully that makes more sense. But yeah. So in recap, I didn't want to. Uh, make this video to be all as a depressing video this is a video to finally close the entirety of my break away from the truth video that I made and finally it's time for me to finally get back into almost getting back into the regular videos just not yet we're getting there we're getting close to there and soon the announcement will be awesome and again to the people who has known me for a while you guys are the true homies here and please make sure you subscribe to all of them and especially follow them on Instagram especially with Luis because even though he still has not have his own channel but due to what is happening make sure you give him some love give him some support same thing with Joseph same thing with everybody else in this particular matter that appeared and was mentioned within this video and again twitch and discord will be in the link in the description once this video comes out and also don't forget like Kiryo Toyama has passed away so please give him respect and by all means that is pretty much it and I'll see you guys all later and remember history does matter